Hey everyone, welcome back. It is Tafi and we are still stuck in quarantine. The last video I showed you guys how to properly soak off the product. It's probably been a couple weeks. You were desperate to take it off and we want to save those nails from peeling them off. So I showed you how to get it done and a couple of household tools that you have available. Uh, that way you can get a little resourceful if you feel you don't have the tools to get the job done properly. So now what's next is what we do once we soak off the product. Um, so what I recommend, considering many of us will not be able to get our nails done professionally, I would definitely recommend that we keep nails on the shorter side of things and rounded edges. Now, why do I say shorter? Because we definitely don't want to have long nails that are not getting kept, that aren't getting any product on them to help them out a little bit. Um, we're probably going to be naked or with regular polish for some of us. So if we already have long nails and we keep them that way, they're more than likely going to start snagging and breaking and then you have uneven nails. Now, just because we're in quarantine doesn't mean that our nails have to look naked and ugly. We want them to look pretty. So that's why I would recommend most people remove your product, go ahead and cut those nails down and round out the edges. It doesn't have to be completely round or oval. I'm going for a more oval shape. I need to keep filing. Um, but definitely at least rounded edges, meaning if you're going to do square, it's going to be a squoval. Okay, round those edges out so that way they're not uh, getting snagged on stuff. Once you have your nails filed the way that you would like them to be filed, um, I'm going to skip filing the rest of these. The next step is cleaning the cuticle. Now, I clean the cuticle using a, right here, little cuticle remover, which you can actually purchase some in Walmart. I think Sally Hansen is a brand. It's like five bucks. They have a decent cuticle remover. But a couple things that you could do if you don't have cuticle remover and don't really want to waste any money on it is you can use a little bit of cuticle oil, even a little bit of lotion, like a kind of more watery based lotion. You don't want to soak your whole fingers in it. Just put it around the cuticle. And you can also wait until after you get out of the shower. After a hot shower, your skin is super nice and super soft. So once it sits on there for a moment, I use my cuticle pusher and I'll lightly go all around the edges and push cuticle back. So now, of course, many of you might not have cuticle pusher and I'm going to help you out with that. What can we do if we don't have a cuticle pusher? Good news is... We just filed our nails down so they're nice and strong, they're not flimsy. We can definitely go in with our nail. I'll go on on this one. We can definitely go in with our nail. You can already see, I don't know if you can see it there a little bit, some of the cuticle already getting separated. So go in and you're gonna push it all back. Now, if we have very, very short nails or even filing them down, they're still very soft and very flimsy, then what you can definitely do is I actually have these little butter knives. <laughs> I'm not gonna cut myself, but this has such a nice sharp edge right here. Let me see, right there. That that's definitely gonna help me be able to push back on my cuticle. You can even do this with a spoon if they're not very blunted edges and you have nice sharp edges. You could do it with a butter knife. You could do it with the edge of your tweezers. I mean, really, if you wanna get a job done, trust me, there's something in your house that's gonna be able to help you with that. So that's what you're gonna do. Push back your cuticle. You'll go in with the edge and remove whatever you've removed. You can even use your nail. And we don't need to go crazy here, okay? We might not be able to get all of our cuticle off in one shot. I do understand some people have harder cuticles or bigger cuticles, but what's really important about this step, and this is something you should be doing on a regular basis anyways, is that it's going to help promote nail growth uh, it's going to help promote uh, cuticle health. The more you push it back, the less it grows out, the less dry it gets and excessive. And it's definitely going to keep your nails looking nice and clean. So that's pretty much it, guys. Once you have your product off, file them really, really nicely. Definitely recommend shorter and rounder so we keep them super cute. And clean your cuticle bed. Once that's done, your nails are definitely going to look nice and fresh. This one I already... Kind of trimmed up a little bit and cleaned them up the best that i could um, and now if you have any hangnails which i was hoping i was going to have something that i could really show you but i don't really have any skin but if you have any hangnails that are sticking up then what you want to do um unless you have one of these handy dandy nippers is you want to go ahead and use a regular clipper and just use the clipper to nip any of the dead skin that ends up sticking up from the cuticle bed 
And that's it guys. So I hope that this was really helpful in your next step once you've removed your product. Get those nails filed, keep them shorter, and definitely clean up those cuticles. And stay tuned, because we have lots more coming on what we can do with our nails during quarantine. So I'll be sure to show you all the tricks and keep everyone super entertained since we have all the time in the world now. Um, so I need to get back to cleaning my nails. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe and you hit notify so you don't miss any of the future content coming out. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.